Generations baseball fans have used the medium of video games to live out their major league fantasies. Well, now some of the classic games from years gone by have been put on display at the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory in a new exhibit called Retro Bits and Baseball Hits. Our Sam Carter is there live for us this morning. Get live, getting uh, beat up here a little bit by Andrew. Uh, we are playing Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. Now this is, you may not know it, one of the seminal games in baseball's video game history. One of the first to have actual talking in it on the Super Nintendo. Andrew from the Slugger Museum joining me right now. Now while we're playing here, Andrew, um, oh my God, that wasn't a strike. Right. Um, talk to me a little bit about the motivation to bring this thing back, because it's been a couple of years since this has been back. Yeah, so we're doing this in conjunction with our friends at the Louisville Arcade Expo, and they have their show every March. Uh, so they brought all these games for us and you know like with summer kids being out of school what a perfect time to come down to the museum revisit your downtown have a great time at the slugger museum and you know what we connect and uh, go down nostalgia road and, and play some video games well Andrew just struck out the side at the top of the first but guys this is such a cool way to kind of rediscover where we live and and what we're and what we're up to um, you know, you guys got a ton going on here at the museum right now. I mean, I know we covered it a little bit ago, but um, new exhibits left and right all over the place. A great time to come visit you guys, right? That's right, yeah. Uh, this year, we're, we're so, we had you out earlier. We're, we're celebrating our 140th uh, right, anniversary yeah. of the first Louisville Slugger. So we have uh, the Brilliance of Bats temporary exhibit up right now. And this, of course, is a temporary exhibit. So this is a really great time to come out. You can play some video games learn a deep history about that 140 year history and of course see some bats being made absolutely you know? and uh you may have overrun the mark there andrew oh, um boy. but oh no oh it's a pickle it's a oh, pickle no. um and this is such a cool way to get kids interested in the game and in slugger itself right yeah absolutely i mean like the thing with baseball is like we're all connected in one form or another to this sport whether it be you played it you have somebody in the family who played it or you just played some classic video games that y you have some level of a connection to. And this is also a great way to get kids, you know, like parents can come in here and be like, oh, I remember playing Super Nintendo, playing Ken Griffey Jr. And they can share that moment with, with their kids or, you know, wh whoever that may be. Yeah, baseball, it really is all about sharing this with generations. And the game just froze. But you know what? That's baseball and that's video games for you. Sometimes that's that right. will happen. That was a big favor because Andrew had runners on second and third with only one out. So statistically, he was likely to score. How long is this in town for? So this is going to be here through October. So there's a pretty good window. And as we talk, I mean, basically, it's going to run up to the World Series. Yeah. So, you know, what a great time to come out and check it out, play some, play some ball games. No better time to visit the Slugger Museum than right now. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to take you to some of the modern history of the game and how you can take a swing for yourself. We'll show you that around 645. Let's go back to you ladies in the studio. Always a good time there at the Slugger yeah. Museum. It's yeah. such a cool spot to visit. If you haven't been, you need to go. Yeah, something fun for summer when you're looking to keep the kids busy, Suzanne. No kidding, especially this afternoon as we do have that risk. Of